So our workout today is Murph. Murph is um, one of the um, hero workouts and it's kind of one of the founding hero workouts in CrossFit. Um, very straightforward workout, but there's lots of volume in this one. So you wanna make sure that you're choosing your scale appropriately, and ideally you want to kind of stick with the scale all the way through. So the workout um, historically is done with a weight vest. So if you have a weight vest or something like a plate, then um, obviously go ahead and run with that uh, weight vest. If you're absolutely desperate to, you could fit a backpack with uh, some load, I'd just make sure it's as well distributed as possible because you are going to be out for a mile and you don't want anything that's going to create friction or create rubbing. So you're going to work for a one mile run with your um, weight vest. You're then going to come back and you're going to do 100 pull-ups. If you have the availability to do pull-ups, brilliant. There's a couple of options if you don't have pull-ups. You can align two chairs and do a bodyweight row. If you have anything like high power lats, you can do a bodyweight row. It'll even work off anything like a staircase. Um, or anything that you can kind of scoot under to do that rowing action, just like we would if we had a barbell uh, fixed on a low rig. Your other option is to pick up a weight. So I've got one single dumbbell, and you can do a single dumbbell bent over row, or you could have two dumbbells and do a double dumbbell bent over row. What you're looking for though, is making sure again, you've got good uh, body position and we're not arching the back and we're not slumping forward if you're going to do that bent over row action. So 100 reps, you wanna choose a weight that is gonna be difficult if you're doing the bent over row, because in a sense, if you were doing 100 pull-ups, you wanna choose something that is gonna uh, reflect what it would feel like to do 100 pull-ups. So once you've done your 100 pull-ups, we then have 200 push-ups if you cannot do full push-ups, rather than going to your knees, which changes the um, lever length, why don't you try doing push-ups off a chair or off a high object like a sofa? The reason I'd suggest doing that over kneeling push-ups is purely because you keep your body at the same length. So the translation to being strong enough to do full push-ups is gonna come sooner than if you do kneeling push-ups. Your obvious option is to do kneeling push-ups if you struggle with that scale. 200 is going to be a high number, so break it down into something that is attainable. Um, and obviously work within whatever scale you need to, that's absolutely fine. Like I said, if you're doing um, the push-ups at height, a chair, a sofa, a garden chair, garden step, is going to be uh, useful if you're trying to just get your chest a little bit higher. We're manipulating a uh, body weight load there, so it does make it a little bit easier if you're at a slightly higher angle. We've then got 300 squats. We know the drill with squats, guys. We're just looking for depth, making sure you hit depth on each rep. We have 300 of those, and then a one mile run to finish that workout as a checkout. Good luck. Make sure you get your scores logged on SugarWad. I'm looking forward to seeing those of you who are joining me in the 10.30 class tomorrow and I will hopefully hear how the rest of you have gone.